Boom! Riches and righteousness. What's going on? Another great episode. Episode 21 in the books. We want to say God bless everyone on this channel. Hope everyone is having a great time. We are here downtown St. Petersburg, Florida, where you can see the beautiful oceans behind us and all the good boats there and also the city life downtown with the tall buildings. On this episode, we're talking about the greatest book written. And we all know what book that is. That is the Bible. And we're gonna teach you how to go through the Bible where you can finish it in one whole year and also how to study the Bible. So stay tuned, see you soon, and let's go. All right, so let's start this video off with a scripture. Let's go to 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 and it states, Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So when we present ourselves to God, guess what's going to happen? We're going to present ourselves where we don't have to be ashamed of the gospel. We don't have to be ashamed of speaking about Christ in public. We can walk where we're at we can go down to the cities we can go down to the highways and we can speak to people about God and let them know who he is and that God loves them tremendously God is going to give them a life a life of favor where they're able to experience the beautiful life that Christ has for all of his children people can go their whole entire lives spending their time spending their money on books, on things, but guess what? They can go their whole entire lives without reading the most important book, and that is the Bible. That's why today we're going to talk about the Bible and how to study the Bible and how it's going to give you freedom. So for those that did not know, the Bible contains up to 66 books within it, and it is written by the Holy Spirit. And it also tells us how God interacts with humanity. So let's ask ourselves, is the Bible inspired by God? And let's pull up a scripture for that. Let's go to 2 Timothy 3, verse 16 to 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and it is possible for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. So when we have a understanding of the scriptures and when we know who Jesus is and when we spread the gospel, because look at this, you can even see how Jesus is everywhere, right? I'm walking, you see that Jesus name is on the wall. Jesus not only died for us, but he's preparing a place for us. And within the scriptures, they teach us these things. So when we walk this world and when we have instructions from the scriptures, you know, we're more aware of how to act, what to do, how to treat people, how to honor people. And that's where the Bible comes into play. Another fun fact, the Bible was written over a thousand years ago and it never contradicts itself. Although the Bible was written by different people like fishermen, prophets, things of that nature, the Holy Spirit was the one that was influencing them. The Holy Spirit was the one guiding them to write these scriptures. Therefore, since the Holy Spirit was guiding these people to write the scriptures, the author is God. The Bible even speaks about relationships with him since the very beginning. And you can go back and you can see that within Genesis, how it talks about the creation of earth and how earth was created and how God created the earth, how he made the fishes, the birds, how he created the oceans, the skies, things of that nature. And he said that man will be the ones that rule earth. But one day, Jesus is going to come back and he's going to live with his followers, with his children. 
And one of the most important things that are found in the Bible is how God is going to restore his relationships with humanity, how he's going to come back and live on this earth with us and dwell with us. The Bible even teaches that there will be a new earth and a new heaven. When Jesus comes back for his people, he is going to not only destroy the devil and cast him into the lake of fire, but he is going to rebuild his kingdom on earth. All right, so let's talk about some practical ways that we can study the Bible. Number one, prayer. When we're praying and when we are in that atmosphere of prayer, it actually softens our heart and prepares our spirit to receive what Jesus wants us to hear. So when you're praying and when you have that prayer lifestyle and you open up the Bible and you start to read, your soul, your spirit will digest what you're reading much better. So another good way you can start reading the Bible is beginning with the New Testament and learning what Jesus will do for your life and learning, you know, when he was walking on this earth, what kind of ministry did he have? Was he healing people? Was he casting out demons? It will teach you about who he was and even the things that he did when he was here on earth. Another good thing to do before you read the scriptures is to ask God for revelation so you can allow the Holy Spirit to flow within you so when you're reading the scriptures, revelation happens and you're able to understand what he's trying to teach you because it's just like when you're reading a book and then you read it again you understand a little bit more but when you ask the Holy Spirit for a revelation you're going to start receiving more information. And also, when you're reading the scriptures, have a pen, a pencil, and some paper so you're able to jot down some quick notes. So when God speaks to you, you're able to write them down. When the Holy Spirit speaks to you, write them down, jot them down. So you're able to reflect on them later in the road.